One in nine people struggle with hunger, and that's just in our area. Those numbers alone should tell you the need for organizations like the Golden Harvest Food Bank uh, is very, very important. But unfortunately, there are many more numbers to deal with as well. That's right. And the need for sourcing, storing, and distributing healthy food is always important. And starting on January 8th, the Golden Harvest Food Bank will be opening their new volunteer center. And the need for volunteers is more dire than ever before. Golden Harvest President and CEO Amy Brightman and Volunteer Program Manager Dorisa Haas are with us this morning with all of the information. And we're going to talk about that new addition. Hey, good morning, hey, ladies. Good morning. good morning. Happy New Year to yeah, you. Happy New Year. Um, so, congratulations. This is a big deal, Monday around the corner. Tell us what goes into putting something like this center together. So we have volunteer opportunities all over our service area, but this center has been just a labor of love really over the last couple of years um, in developing a place where people can come in and we're now able to internally pack backpacks for children, senior food boxes, bring all of that work inside and really tell more of our story. So we have a lot of branding inside that tells our timeline and our founder's history and the donors who've been involved and all of that. Um, we move about uh, close to 12 million meals a year um, through our different facilities and this is just going to allow the community to come in and come alongside us. So we're just asking the community to come on in and open the doors on Monday for full shifts twice a day. And you mentioned stories and let's, let's focus a bit more on the goal here for this volunteer center. This, mm -hmm. You're saying this is supposed to put everything together in one fell swoop in, in, in one place. Right. We have um, a volunteer center in Aiken, South Carolina as well, because we serve 25 counties, 11,000 square miles of, of hunger relief. Uh, but this center is located at our main campus on Commerce Drive in Augusta, um, serves 19 counties in the state of Georgia. And we'll also be packing some things that go to, to South Carolina as well. Um, we're also building a produce rescue center right across the street, which will be complete this summer. But this is kind of phase one of opening. We, we officially opened the building in August, but we're full force ready to invite volunteers in and have the product that we need uh, to start serving more people in our community. And that's amazing. It is a need in our area. Dorisa, as a volunteer program manager, you know the importance to have volunteers. Um, with this new center, what are you needing as far as, as, far as volunteers go? Well, right now, I'm at the new um, volunteer center that's opening on Monday. We need 40 volunteers a day, um, 20 from 9 to 12, and another 20 from 1.30 to 4. Um, our need is great. And then we have the master's table soup kitchen that's in operation as well, seven days a week. And we need volunteers there as well. Now, if someone is in need or if a person or a company would wants to assist or donate their time or, or money or, or what have you, what's the process for that? How can they, how can they, get, a, how can they get that information? They can visit our website, goldenharvest.org, go to volunteer and create an account. And from there, they're able to see all of our volunteer opportunities. We also have a really incredible tool on our website. Um, it's a food finder. So people who are looking for food assistance, we support over 350 partner agencies across our network. And so they can punch in a zip code and literally see all of the locations that are open um, to receive food assistance. So that's really important to us to be accessible to the community. And what you ladies do really is a passion. You're Absolutely. helping so many people in our area and then some. What's it like when you see these families come up to you and need your assistance? What's that like? Well, I think the incredible thing about Golden Harvest is even though most of our work is warehousing, right? Getting things into the warehouse and getting out to agencies that are doing the direct service. We do run the master's table soup kitchen. So we, you know, Christmas day, I was down there handing, uh, you know, a hot coffee to someone in our community um, to have that experience and to really see the need um, is powerful. And I think supporting these agencies that are on the front line, some of them are small food pantries out in rural counties that have just made a commitment to serving their community. Uh, and as we all know, um, the prices at the grocery store are not going down nope. and uh, housing costs are not going down. And so um, we're really bridging a gap between people's you know, budget and the reality of, of the economy. So most of the folks that we're serving are working you know, one or two jobs, but just trying to patch it together. So we're here as a safety net for that. And I think more and more people, just as you said, you've seen an increase in the number of years. Uh, there may be that stigma, but more and more people are needing that assistance, and that's why Golden Harvest is right here, mm -hmm. especially with the new volunteer center. Again, congratulations for that. Uh, once again, where can people go if they would like to volunteer and help? Goldenharvest.org. All right, be sure you check that out, that information on our screen. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Checking in one more.